All right, guys. The next problem is threesome. A very famous problem in interviews. And I'd strongly recommend you watch this video. That is two sum. It will pop up above me. It's a very similar problem. And it will give you a really solid foundation to start off in solving this one. Three sum. It's a very simple problem. You're given an array consisting of unique numbers. Find the total number of triplets in that array such that ARR of i plus ARR of j plus ARR of k is zero. i is not equal to j, j is not equal to k. Simply put, you've got an array of n numbers. You've got to take three different numbers and add them up to get zero. How many such triplets are there in the array? Say this is our array right here. 0, 8, 6, 2, minus 2, minus 14. What three numbers add up to 0? 0, 2, and minus 2. If you add the three of them, you get 0. Similarly, 8 plus 6 gives us 14. That plus minus 14 gives us 0. So there are two triplets which add up to 0, which is why our answer is 2. Now you know what to do, guys. Link in the description down below. Make sure to click it and try to solve it for yourselves. If we rephrase this a bit, we can get ARR of i plus ARR of j equals minus ARR of k. Now, sometimes this might not be zero. Sometimes they may change this up and make this a value target or plus one or minus one, something like that. We can use the exact same method to solve those problems as well. So first, we're going to have a look at the right-hand side. What is minus ARR of k? It's just the negative of every number in the array. So what we do is we take the array, we convert every number into its negative, and we store it into a hash map along with its index. So what's minus 0? Minus 0 is 0. Its index is 0. So 0 and 0 goes into a hash map. The key is 0. The value is 0. The negative of 8 is minus 8. Minus 8 goes in with an index of 1. Minus 6 goes in with an index of 2, and so on. Now we have tackled the entire right-hand side. Now what we have to do is tackle the left-hand side. How do we calculate ARR of i plus ARR of j? We've got to take every single pair of these numbers. We start off at 0. What are the numbers that we can pair with 0? 8, 6, 2, minus 2, and minus 14. So 0 plus 8 gives us 8. That's the left-hand side of our equation. The right-hand side, that is the hash map, does not have a plus 8 in it which is why this cannot be a triplet. We simply ignore it. 0 plus 6 gives us 6. There's no 6 in our hash map, so we ignore it. 0 plus 2 gives us 2. And yes, there is a 2 in our hash map, which is why our count increases by 1. What this tells us is 0, 2, and minus 2, that is the number at that index, can form a triplet. But something curious you'll notice is that when we hit minus 2, the same triplet will be considered again. 0, 2, and minus 2 will be considered again. That's because 0 plus minus 2 is minus 2, which is present in our hash map. Each triplet will be counted three times. So a simple way to get around this is to divide our final answer by 3. 0 and minus 14 gives us nothing. It gives us minus 14, which is not in our hash map. So we ignore it. Now we've considered every pair with 0 as its first number. Now we move on to 8. 8 and 6 gives us 14, which is in our hash map. Count goes up by 1. 8 and 2, 8 and minus 2, irrelevant. 8 and minus 14 gives us minus 6. Again, it is in our hash map, so our count goes up. Now the triplet 0, 2, and minus 2 gets counted thrice for a total of 3. 8, 6, and minus 14 also gets counted thrice for a total of 6. We divide this answer by 3. So 6 by 3 is 2, and we return that final answer. Finally, we've got to ensure that the two numbers in question don't have the same index as the index present in the hash map. The code, as we can see here, is awfully simple once we know the logic. We just store the negative of each number inside a hash map. Following that, we iterate through each and every single element. If ARR of i plus ARR of j is in D, we increase the count and we divide it by 3. Simple. 
all we do is return our count and compile our code. All 16 test cases have been accepted. Guys, that's the solution to threesome. I can't stress on how important this problem is. My friend, he gave an interview at Microsoft and he was asked to sum. Three sum is just as common question. So make sure you know this problem. There's also a four sum. And the general pattern is that for two sum, the complexity was O of n. For three sum, it was O of n squared. For four sum, it's gonna be O of n cubed and so on. So if m is the number before the sum, the complexity will be O of n power m minus one. Now that's been it for threesome. If you want to see foursome, let me know, but I don't think it's going to be very interesting. It's a repetition. It's a rehashing of the exact same problem. Been Vivek guys, and I hope to see you all next time.